Good people, welcome back to Global Happenings today. Joe Ibokwe has come up with an accusation against the People's Democratic Party and IPOP. We are going to be looking at the perspective he's coming from and also look at the move he expects all Nibos, especially men, to take to see how they can curtail insecurity in the Southeast. But before we give you full details of that, I would like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. All right, let's look at the news in detail. 15 of the All Progressive Congress, APC in Lagos State, Chief Joe Ibokwe, has alleged that the People's Democratic Party PDP sponsored the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP in 2015 after losing election. Ibokwe, in a post on his social media page, said that the solution to the insecurity in the zone was for stakeholders to visit President Buhari and seek for improved security in the zone. He, however, stated that he has paid his own price to the insecurity of the zone through the burning of his house in Newi last year. According to him, he said President Buhari won elections in 2015, and IPOP, a branch of PDP, took to the street to vent their anger, stupidity, and frustration. Our leader, the intelligentsia, governors, lawmakers, university don, bishops, traditional rulers, business mongol, chieftains of industry, men of Isaka, the vibrant and useful youth, and all other stakeholders in the Southeast looked the other way, thinking that blackmail, modded silence, and unset, unconcerned attitude will help. It did not. It ended in disaster, frustration, and death. The one million container of heads and bigotry we deliberately imported into Southeast have bed quietly and neatly too in the Ibo land. We are uploading the goods into various warehouses across Ibo land. They are, uh, excuse me, they are selling like hot cake and everybody is receiving his or her own share of the goods. I received mine on Sunday, October 3, 2021 in Uragu, Newi. President General Hannes, a worldwide professor, jo George Obiozo, received his own two. Please know this and have inner peace. An attack on Hanese president, president General is an attack on all Igbos anywhere in the world. Okunyili family received theirs too. The Lechu Okungu family in Newi received theirs too. Governor Hobuzo Adima received his container too. Police personnel, police formation, INEC offices, LGAs were not left out in the distribution of the Laches. I can go on and on. Ibokwe said to reclaim the South is there are two ways to go about it, one of which was to approach Buhari and seek for improved security in the zone. According to him, he said every man in Igbo land must stand up and chase these bandits and criminals out of Igbo land and take back our southeast, the land of the rising sun. Nobody has a monopoly of violence. Force respect force. The language these bandits or Boko Haram or Southeast will understand now is dialogue on an equal basis. Option two is for all the stakeholders I listed above to visit the president in Abuja and request for security to protect lives and properties. He said the situation in Igbo land today demand that every man in Igbo land has a duty to do. He said Igbo land except every expect every man to stand up and do his duty to the land. I have done my duty to Igbo land. Do your own or we lose everything to criminals and bandits, Ibokwe said. Mm -hmm. hmm. And, uh, you know, this statement he has made has triggered a lot of uh, reactions. We are going to be looking at those reactions in a jiffy because it's really worth talking about. All right, someone here says... To Joe Ibokwe, he said, then Boko Haram and Banditry must be a branch of APC in the north and attacking the train. Someone said, thanks, bro, for that response to him. And that person here says, always talking things that doesn't make sense. Anytime you don't put hype up, your statement never complete. You must surely pay for this, your nonsense, one day. And that person here says, not only the southeast, hmm. Say not only the southeast 
in, in the whole of Nigeria. They are the people that created the insecurity across Nigeria before the coming of APC. Now, once said all the insecurity was created by PDP even before the coming of APC. So many reactions here. Someone here says, Joey Bukwesma is always saying the wrong thing online. What is this nonsensical nomenclature in advanced political criminal APC? And that one here says, what about Fulani terrorists and Boko Haram terrorists? Hope it's your party APC that are sponsoring those war animals. Now one here said, the man that said an attack on Boko Haram it is on, on the north is not saying the right thing. And uh, someone here says, Elder Ibukwe APC is the grandfather of IPOP. So stop distracting people from knowing the truth. Are you saying that PDP is sponsoring the Fulani headsmen too? Elder Ibukwe, your own has gone too far. I respected you before now, but with the way you are talking, I withdraw my that respect from you. You think PDP in a, is an agbero party like APC? Look at the leaders of your party. Are they not elder statement of Agbero in the Southwest? Hmm. Another person here says, Joe, you talk anyhow. It is not good that a man of your age will be talking like this. I you know this is not Tao to related place. Another person here says, always talking like this makes me very angry. So many people are responding to him. But however, let's try to be objective with our reasoning. He has made some statement about involvement of, uh, of IPOP in, as a branch of PDP, which we all know that is not true. But he has also considered what should be done to stem down on the issue of insecurity before it swallows everyone. For me, I'm not taking, I'm not fixing that name, IPOP, as one of the group that is fighting because fairly just today we've heard a report coming from the, the South East, precisely from IPOP, that they would never have any problem with the houses. They will do everything to protect them. You know, so for me, insecurity in the South East has nothing to do with IPOP. But then the only thing is that there are so many greedy politicians who are out there and looking for every opportunity to take advantage of and put the stain on another person. But like he had rightly said, how to get this insecurity fixed? One of the most important way is by dialogue, because if unanimously the stakeholders and people who are making a great deal of uh, impact in the south is does not rise they do not rise up and get this uh, issue of insecurity fixed once and for all we will wake up one day and south east would not be a comfortable place for anybody if you listen to him very well at the last paragraph he did list um, the number of people who have tested the venom of these on ugm in the south east and most of them didn't even live to regret it some said he did not mention them because what i saw they was just key people in the south is who have tested the venom of the ugm i feel that it is high time for the people to wake up and to stand strong and resist any activity of ugm because these are the people that are not tired of carrying out nefarious activities both on the commoners and on the rich if you said that they are facing the rich uh, let's take a look at uh, what happened at the voting center precisely i think in Imo state where people went there to register for voters card what happened to them even the INEC boy the INEC guy that came there to do the business he didn't walk away with his life now the question is what has that boy did he only went there to do his job and get food and eat and be satisfied just like every other person but he made his death. So you now realize that these guys are not fighting the rich. They are also fighting the poor. So whatever that must be done to curtail them, just like he has said, I feel it is right to take that direction. I'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. What do you think about some of the statements that Joe Ibuque has made in this respect?